Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Lucy, welcome. And today we are reviewing this bad boy. This is the um, Lick and Lash Beauty Playful Palette. And just wait until you see how beautiful this thing is. Um, I bought it on sale, um, so I will check um what the full price is and link and um, put it down below i will link obviously lick and lash beauty down below um i stumbled across them on instagram um and they seem like a good company they are obviously cruelty free um because i am trying to become fully cruelty free i'm almost there i think i've got a couple of products that um that I just, I need to, and they're not even cosmetics, it's my, it doesn't matter, <laughs> it doesn't matter, anyways, so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to um, put some uh, eyeshadow base down, and then I shall be back, and we will have a little look at the palette, okay, so I've just quickly put some base down, I used the um, You Can Be Let's do that, see if that works. Um, you can be, this is the Smudge Proof um, Eyeshadow Primer. You can get, you can be from um, eBay, Amazon. Um, a lot of people get it from AliExpress because it's quite cheap on there. Um, it's a good primer if you are on a budget. Um, I do prefer the um, P. Louise base, um, but I need to use it up. I'm sick of wasting makeup, so I need to use it up, so but it, it is it is okay right so this is the lick and lash beauty palette um it comes in a sleeve we'll take the sleeve off um i know a lot of you do like to keep your sleeves but i'm not about the sleeve life so i do take it off um but as you can see it's this beautiful like baby pink packaging with gold lettering um, and then on the back, you've just got all of your ingredients. Um, it's a 36 month shelf life, which I think is is really good. Um, and like I say, there's a cruelty free bunny. Um, I'm just going to check how much it is at the moment and I will be right back. This palette is um, full price. It is £30. Let's have a look at what is inside because it is absolutely stunning. Um, like I say, this is called the Playful Palette. They do have lots of palettes on their website. They have um, one called the Flamingo Palette, which looks quite nice. It does come with a protector. I've just taken that off. Um, it comes with a mirror as well, so you can see right up my nose. And it's hu a huge mirror. Look. Look at this beautiful palette. You've got pretty much, like, apart from, like, a yellow I'd say you have like most colours that you'd need. Um, you've got all your sort of cool tone shades. You've got your warm tone shades. This is stunning. Um, this lime green here, I just want to put it all over my face. Um, and I want to try that today. So, um, yeah. So, should we do some swap? You've got all the shade names as well. Shade names aren't really that important to me. Um, I'll read them out to you, but like... I don't really remember shade names anyway, but we've got Peached, Plum, Orchid, Lagoon, Dollar, Dragon, Summer Sky, Hot Fuss, Barbie, Sugar Plum, Slaying, Envy, Pistachio, Tidal, um, Tangfastic, uh, Frenchie, Sweet Pea, Mystic, Life of Lime, Bora Bora Powder, Sweet Cheeks, Flamingo, Obsessed, Athena, um, Pacarique, Packercrete, Packercrete, Money, Money Honey and Cosmic Dust. Um, so it's a mix of mattes and shimmers and then you've got like a really, really glittery one here. Um, so I'm, I'm wondering how that's going to, I don't know if that's a press glitter. It feels a little bit like a press glitter. So yeah, I'm just going to pick a few shades to swatch. Um, and if you want me to swatch the whole palette, then let me know down in the comments below and I will um, put it up on my Instagram. Again, that will be linked down below. So we're just going to go with a few. I'm going to do some mattes. I'm going to do the Barbie. Um, I'm also going to do Mystic. And then I am going to do um, 
Life of Lime, and then Money Honey, which is a shimmer. They look pretty pigmented, don't they? So let's just swatch them. Okay, that one looks a little bit, came out a little bit chunky. I don't know if I dipped my finger in too hard. So there we go. Those are the colors, that lime green, um, I've only dipped in once, so that pink one looks like it's gonna stain. Purple one looks okay, the green one looks quite pretty, and so does the shimmer. It's not like as shimmery as I thought it was gonna be, but like I say, swatches don't mean anything. It's how that, it gives us like a rough idea as to how pigmented it's gonna be, um, and I do enjoy doing them, but um, it's about how they perform on the eyes, doesn't it? Isn't it, guys? So, let's um have a go i'm gonna like I say i want to try that that lime color on my eyes i know it's just not swatched that great but let's let's try it let's let's just try it guys see what happens um and yeah so i'm gonna take my famous brush now i love this brush um and um yeah so i'm gonna go in with um pistachio which is this sort of dark green mid it's a mid-range green it's not not dark green but it's it's a mid let's say it's a mid-range green in the spectrum of spectrum of greens I'm just like pressing. So that's like two goes and I'm it's it's paying off better now, I think. I do prefer sort of buildable shadows. It's very like I find it sometimes like a little bit intimidating when you have um obviously very very highly pigmented shadows sometimes you're like oh my god i'm just gonna make a mess with my face but this doesn't seem too bad so i'm just pressing it in rather than blending um i tend to find shadows work better when you like tap them on and then go in and and um, blend them out now so um Halloween is coming up guys do you want me to try and do some Halloween looks um I'm not a makeup artist or anything but it might be nice to see like a normal person try and do some some makeup some makeup looks that are sort of Halloweeny I didn't do it last year because I didn't really feel that confident but I've been on YouTube for like over a year now um, I finally hit 1k. I keep promising you guys I'm going to do a giveaway and I promise I will. Um, it's just a question of having the time. If you catch me in my lives, that's all good. Right, then we're going to go in. So we've got that green down. I'm going to go in with this purple, the mystic one, the one that we swatched and see. Green and purple, do that, does green and purple, should we do a blue? I'm gonna go, no. I'm gonna go in with um, this one here, which is called Bora Bora. And I'm gonna sort of put that on my outer corner. That looks hella pigmented. Let's try this. Doesn't look too bad on camera. Just like I say, just tapping it in. And there's quite a lot of fallout with this one. They seem to be a tad chalky. Um but we'll see how the end looks come.
thing is I hadn't been excited for a palette for a while and when I saw this palette I was like I fell in love with it and I got excited because like I say I haven't seen anything that I'd really liked for ages so but this is pigmented this blue is coming out all right so there we go let's get rid of it on the brush I'm just going to go back in with that green just pack it over just blending it sort of I'm going to use a blending should I use a blending brush that might be that might be the thing to do Lucy sort it out if I can find one too many brushes nowadays guys too many brushes right let's get to go back in with that pistachio just over the top that's better they're blending quite nicely together which is nice we like a we like a good blend guys don't we there we go and then um on my lower lash line what are we gonna go for um i think we're gonna go in with one of the purples no we're not we're gonna go in with a with um parakeet which is like a darker green They seem to like blend out quite well. I'm going to switch my beauty lamp off just so you can see um, a little bit better what I'm seeing. So it's a little bit sort of duller, but the sun is not out and it's raining. So I need you to be able to see me. So when I switch off, you can't see me. And then um, we're going to put a bit of concealer down and we're going to try and make... We're going to put a bit of P. Louise down, sorry. And we're going to try and make that lime green pop i'm going to use the white one um yeah so i'm going to try and make this this green pop Okay, so I've got some P. Louise based out. I'm going to try that Life of Lime colour, which is pretty much the whole reason I bought this palette. Just dipping in.
that is really pretty. It took a minute to sort of work with the base, but it's getting there. It looks really, really pretty. Okay, so we've got, so far, we've got an all matte look. Um, I'm going to try some of that Money Honey, and I'm just going to put that in the centre of my lid, just to um, give us a bit of a, a shimmer, and I'm going to do it with my finger because it's not, it's not working with the brush. Let's do it with the finger. There we go. Right, I will be right back. I'm just gonna put some eyeliner on, some highlighter, maybe a bit of foundation, who knows. Um, but I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I finished it off just with some highlighter, some eyeliner, and um, some lip, the lipstick I've got is um, Thirst Trap by Jeffree Star. I'm not sure if you could still get this, but I literally just grabbed one. Um, I'm happy with this look. Um, I really, really like it. Um, so, thoughts on the Lick and Lash Beauty Playful Eyeshadow Palette are, um, is it pretty? Yes. Is the packaging really pretty? Yes. Are the eyeshadows really pretty in the pans? Yes. Do they swatch well? No. Um, you have to do they perform well on the eyes? I think they do, um, but you have to work them. This isn't your chuck some makeup on and go leave out the door palette. You do have to work with them. You do have to be quite patient and have faith in your abilities. Um, £30, um, you get quite a lot of shades for £30. Um, so it's it's good value for money the eyeshadows are pigmented don't get me wrong i'm just saying you will have to work with them but you can achieve so many looks with this palette look at it it's gorgeous um would i recommend it um i mean i don't hate it but i'm not in love with it um i think there are so many um rainbow palettes on the market um and there are cheaper ones as well that are better quality and easier to work with um so yeah like out of 10 i'd give it a six um i'm not happy with it but i'm not sad about it either i have achieved a really good look um so yeah um it's okay you just wouldn't i wouldn't rush out and buy any of their other palettes um so yes that's the end of the um first impressions review guys i will leave everything linked down below for you don't forget to follow me on instagram like say if you do want swatches of the palette then let me know down in the comments and i will stick it up on my instagram follow me on twitter on snapchat um if you like and as ever, guys, I will see you soon for another video. Bye.